Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at the muscles of the pharynx. We will be focusing on the origin, insertion, function, and innervation of these muscles. And to do so we're going to be using mainly two images. This one that you see here, which is essentially a dorsal view of your pharynx of all the pharyngeal muscles here. And then there is also this view here where we just cut them and open them like a book here so we can then see what is happening inside this tube-like structure, the pharynx. Now the pharynx is a muscular column that links the nasal and oral cavities, nasal and oral cavities, you can see a little bit here, to the larynx which you see here also known as the voice box. It also connects to the esophagus, as you can see a little bit here, in your neck, or starting at your neck. Now the pharyngeal cavity is a common pathway for food and air, and the walls of the pharynx are posterior to the margins of the nasal cavities, the oral cavity, and the larynx. Now based on these anterior relationships, uh, the pharynx can be divided into the nasopharynx, seen here highlighted in green, the oropharynx, and the laryngopharynx. The nasal cavities communicate with the nasopharynx through these holes here known as the coenae. Now the oral cavity communicates, as you can see here this is a bit of the oral cavity, communicates with the oropharynx through the oropharyngeal isthmus and the larynx then communicates with the laryngopharynx through the laryngeal inlet. In this tutorial we will discuss the muscles that make up the walls of the pharynx. The muscles of the pharynx are organized into two groups based on the orientation of the muscle fibers. The fibers of the constrictor muscles are orientated in a circular direction relative to the pharyngeal wall, and the list includes the superior constrictor muscle, the middle constrictor muscle, and the inferior one. Whereas the fibers of the longitudinal muscles are oriented vertically. And the list includes the stylopharyngeus muscle, salpingopharyngeus muscle, the palatopharyngeal muscle. So now let's start with the constrictor muscles of the pharynx. The three constrictor muscles are nested within each other from the top down. A good way to visualize the constrictor muscles is as three cone-shaped cups. You can see one of them here highlighted, and then another one, and another one. So they are like three cone-shaped cups fitting within each other. Now this one that we see here highlighted in green is the superior constrictor, which fits into the middle constrictor, which in turn fits into then the inferior constrictor found here then below. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.